Well, the real estate market feeling the impact of the coronavirus with buyers and sellers turning to virtual tours to avoid person to person contact. But is it a good idea to even buy a new home without even seeing it? And there's a lot of questions about the industry. CEO of Healy Global Relocation, Rogers Healy is here. Rogers, good morning. Morning, guys. Oh, so much to ask you about. First, talk to me about these virtual tours. Are they working? Is there interest out there? Are buyers actually yeah. hitting the, the buy button? Yeah, yeah. The, we've been doing virtual tours for a, a long time, whether it's a commercial or literally just an old school virtual tour. So it's, it's nothing that we haven't seen before. But now that we're relying on it heavily, you know, we, we got to go all in. And buyers love it, especially the people that are out of town, which has been happening for a long time with, you know, people moving from California, Florida, New York, et cetera. But at the end of the day, if you're buying something, whether it's $100,000 or $10 million, I think most people have the wherewithal to go and actually have a tangible feel for the actual product. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen, but it's at least keeping us afloat for the time being. All right, let's talk about what potentially could happen with these incredibly low mortgage rates if these buyers are going on virtual tours, if they're jumping in because they're looking for opportunity. Do you think that we're going to get into bidding wars in this country for properties? Because smart real estate investors know Frankly, when there's blood in the water, that's the time that you jump in. I hate that. That sounds crass, I realize, but it's the truth. No, no. L listen, it, it, it's true. So I, t time will tell. I think the next couple of weeks, people are going to be staying home, ironically, because obviously that's what's been mandated of us. So I, I, I think we're going to see some bids for places that maybe are underpriced, and it might be people that are in the oil and gas business that need to sell quick. But as far as you know, consistent bidding wars right now, I don't foresee it you know, being a part of our mm -hmm. immediate future. But Hopefully, if rates stay low, we're going to see some stuff that's going to keep us, you know, keep us in business. Well, because I say that because, you know, I remember here in Manhattan after after 9-11 that, that there were people that were looking to buy real estate in downtown New York like a month after. And and, and I know it sounds crass and it sounds harsh, yeah. but and we're seeing the same thing in the stock market. When the stock market starts to fall, you've got people that are like, look, I'm going to get in. It's it's cheap right now. Do you think that that happens? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's that's business, you know, and, and for the last five or six years, I've been preaching that the definition of a good deal is a deal that makes you feel good. And the translation of that is it's hard to go and get a deal that you can get, you know, significant price or, you know, cost off the price. But now a good deal actually might mean you're buying it for 70, 80 cents on the dollar. And again, only time will tell. But I think people have been really smart since the last adjustment in the real estate market and the economy in general to where, I think we're going to be protected in the long run, and hopefully there's not going to be that many good deals financially, you know, here, here so, coming so up. So people are being, then people, okay, then, because I, I think it's also like, it's all about location, right? Because we're seeing bidding wars happening here in, in New Jersey and parts of New York. I'm seeing a lot of, of deals, be, a lot of homes being listed, believe it or not, in this part of the country. Yeah, and, and again, it's what we're having right now, we have the spring market coming up in like a week. Yeah. So normally after spring break, which is ending, I think right now-ish, we see this happen. I think what's going to happen is the seasonality of residential real estate is going to change significantly. You know, we're going to see people, t you know, sit on the sideline for two weeks, two months, et cetera, to where the fall and the winter, which I'm historically are slow, those right. are going to get really, really, really busy. Right, Rogers, thank you very much. And we need to have you back. This is an evolving story yeah. in, in the real estate market. Yeah. Rogers Healy. God bless you guys. Stay home. All right. Uh, let's take a look at.